All right, um, listen, there's a lot going on. Uh, and that, of course, is uh, the, the legal tampering period has started. And there are teams, really good teams, that are not just looking to sign guys. They've lost guys. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to a new segment on the show called Window Open. Window closed, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll give you a team and kind of what's happened, and we'll try to figure out if uh, the last 24 hours have uh, opened a window for them or closed the window for them. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with the Buffalo Bills. They lost arguably the best defensive player in Tremaine Edmonds. He went to Chicago. Uh, it does look like they're also going to lose Poyer. Uh, it was another one of their star uh, defensive uh, players in the secondary. They, they, they have opened up some cap space in restructuring deals, but a defense which was very, very good has lost one and is about to lose uh, their second best player. And you have uh, an embattled wide receiver who, while he's untradeable because of his contract, Stephon Diggs, wants out. Buffalo Bills, window open, window closed. The window's still open for the Buffalo Bills. Um, I, I like what they still have offensively. I like what they have defensively. They are going to improve in areas that they need to. You lost some guys. Every team loses guys. Yep. This is a really good team. You got to lose more than just Edmonds, and he's, he was great, but he was hurt last year a little bit. Yep. Got filled in for. Um, their guys are stuff that they need a pass rush. They need safety. Uh, they need pieces, but... They still have Josh Allen. They still have Stephon Diggs. And Von Miller restructured his deal. Von Miller. So you do have, they do have 30, they opened up an extra $32 million. So while, yes, they took a big hit yesterday, I'm with you. I think the window's still open in part because I don't trust any other AFC's team yet. Yeah, at all. Like, I know Tua is coming back again. Yeah, yeah. And listen, they did sign Jalen Ramsey. Mm -hmm. So their defense will be better. Although they're not getting the great Jalen Ramsey. I'm with you from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Their defense is going to be better. Uh, second year under a new coaching system can only help them, obviously. Uh, the New York Jets, we don't know who their quarterback is. So I still, and New England's got Mac Jones. And while Bill O'Brien's coming back to run the offense, which would be a market improvement, the Bills are still the team to beat. Yeah. And now they have money to spend. So before we close that window on Buffalo, let's see who they acquire because they will make uh, acquisitions. And I still believe Saquon Barkley is a consideration. For the Buffalo Bills, we'll have to see how that plays itself out Good once one. we get to uh, tomorrow. Okay, team number two. I'm not picking on you, Philly, but we got to discuss it because you lost your defensive tackle, Javon Hargrave, to the Niners. Uh, T.J. Edwards, linebacker, he goes to the Bears in free agency. Mm -hmm. You've got James Bradbury, who's uh, not under contract anymore. You've got Darius Slay allegedly looking uh, to leave the nest, as it were. Uh -huh. I know Jason Kelsey announced he's coming back, but he's an older player now. Uh, you have a team that dominated opposing quarterbacks, and they've just lost about 30 of their sacks from last year. And this is a team whose defense was eighth in scoring and second in yards. A lot of that had to do with the fact they had an easy schedule. They blew a lot of teams out early. And it made that pass defense look, or excuse me, their run defense look a lot better. But uh, your thoughts, Eagles, window open, window closed. Uh, the window's open. The window's <laughs> open for the Eagles. Of course you're going to laugh. Of course you're going to laugh. But you look at this team, they had so many guys. They had so much depth. Like, they're, yes, they lost some crucial pieces. But they had guys waiting in the wings who stepped up, who still made plays. This team led the league in sacks. I yes, mean, they almost by a long, by a by long, long shot. Like yeah. this team offensively, they they got Kelsey. They signed, they re-signed uh, Jason Kelsey. That was huge. You might lose another offensive lineman, a guard. You might have to fill in the void there. But pretty much your nucleus offensively is set. The skill position guys are, and the line yes. is more or less. Now uh, I will say that. this: Yeah, if you lose Slay. That does change things. We got two Pro Bowl cornerbacks and one in Bradbury. They could resign. I mean, he's not yep. gone yet. He's just not under contract. Correct. He's a free agent. And Slay, apparently, at 32 years old, wants to go elsewhere. I think the window's closed for them. And I say that respecting the fact that, you know, they do have a great young quarterback in, in Jalen Hurts who has to be resigned for a boatload of dough. 
But I think this is why what I always say, like, you have to have so much respect for Belichick and Andy Reid and Shanahan out in San Francisco. It is hard to keep a nucleus together mm -hmm. and have a team at a certain level stay at that level. And Philly's seeing that. They have five more free agents not named James Bradbury, that they could also lose. They're going to be a very different-looking team on defense for sure. They also lost both their coordinators. So it's Yes, but Gannon was disliked, apparently, by a lot of the guys. He was their defensive coordinator. So I don't know if that's that big a loss. But, yeah, they, it's, a, it's a lot of new voices a lot. in that room. The Cincinnati Bengals, they lost both of their starting safeties. Jesse Bates went to the Falcons. Von Bell went to the Carolina Panthers. So far on offense, it's status quo. But, yeah, this was a good defense. Not a great defense. A really good opportunistic defense. And now you have two guys uh, who started at safety. Both of them are gone. Listen, I think uh, – you want me to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Go for Is it. the window closed? No. Is it closing? You bet your ass it is. All right, uh, real quick, let me just run through three more teams uh, without uh, belaboring it. Just give me uh, open close, okay? Play the game right. Let's do it. Vegas Raiders, open to close. Close. Pat Mahomes. What? Right. Pat Mahomes is there. I'm sorry. Pat Mahomes. All right. right uh, new, uh, Derek Carr goes to New Orleans. The New Orleans Saints. Open. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think they're the division winning open. right now. Yes. Can someone explain to me why the Atlanta Falcons don't want to go get a quarterback? Is Ritter really the answer? No. And let me give you one more. Uh, the Miami Dolphins, who signed Mike Effin White yesterday to a two-year contract that with incentives could be worth $16 million. Let me do the math. Calculate it. Add the one. Cross out the two. That means he could get, since he was 2-5 and five in his NFL career, $8 million per win. Not yes. bad. You can get it. Not bad. Yeah. Dolphins window open or close? Open. Open. They improved. I, open. They did improve. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's open, uh, but I don't know what to do with Tua. And yep. I think until we uh, figure out if Tua is going to be able to play football without suffering concussions, uh, you just don't know. Uh, I'm glad that Mike White went to Miami because he's a terrible quarterback. What? And the fact that we Jet fans fell in love with him merely because he was a little bit better than Zach Wilson, who, by the way, has a winning record last year as a Jet starting quarterback, Stop it. is great because if and when Tua gets hurt, uh, you play Mike White all day. All day. Okay. You think I'm afraid of Mike White? This is a journeyman quarterback who can, can't stay on the field, can barely breathe without getting hurt, and I'm worried about Mike White? That's a bad move by the Dolphins. Embarrassing. I'd be worried about $16 Mike White. million dollars for two years we for a guy see. who has two wins in his career. We shall oh. see. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.